What's up? You already know what time it is. Welcome to Toon Fever, baby. Okay, so I got some discs. Uh, let's check them out. First of all, The Fall of Troy, Doppelganger. This is a real mind blower. So if you've never listened to it before, um, kind of console yourself about how you're, you're going to have to get rid of your mind when you hear this because it's a mind blower. But after your mind has already been blown, then you can just keep on listening to this thing because it doesn't do any further damage. Um, so next up, this one is the Tokyo Hotel album uh, called Scream. There's great stuff on it, but mostly incredibly great hair. So up next, I got this Nirvana Lithium single that has also a live version of the song Been a Sun and also the unreleased like album. It was never released on the album track. It's called Cremudgeon. Um, <clears throat> Nirvana is um, a band consisting of three members and there are three songs on this album. So next, um, this is the like alternate cover of the Ritual De Lo Habitual uh, album by Jane's Addiction. And it's a really cool package. It's, you know, I just like it. it they made this because the original cover um, has like boobs or something. I think that, yeah, naked women on it. And I guess, I don't know if they got in trouble or what. Maybe, the, I don't know, something. But they have a bunch of like Article 1 uh, stuff all over it. So it's kind of, the whole package is just a big protest. It's just interesting to look at, but the album is good. Um, next, um, your dad's favorite CD and it's excellent. You know, Stevie, uh, Steve Miller band, uh, this is the greatest hits album that everyone has. And I just got it cause it didn't cost much. And, uh, I don't really care too much about any of his albums. Everything that I want by him is on this. So I bought it and I really like to listen to it. Um, and have for a long time. Um, up next, I don't know how I'm finally getting this one. Uh, it's my favorite Stone Temple Pilots album called Purple. Um, I guess it's just because I always thought I could find it for cheaper every time I saw it. And I did. I found it for like two bucks. Um, but yeah, it's my favorite uh, Stone Temple Pilots album. Um, yeah. And you'll notice that the track list on the back is actually a lie because 12 and Gracious and Melodies are not actually the names of the songs on this album. So next is this Pearl Jam album uh, entitled Yield, which is shown there on the sign, which I thought this was an interesting picture because I'm not sure what the drivers would be yielding to. And uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of odd. So that's the only reason why I bought it. Um, and then next, um, Sum 41, Does This Look Infected? I listen to Sum 41 a lot um, in my life, and this is my second favorite album by them. Um, I like this cover because it's spooky, and um, yeah, I I was just wanting to know, do you guys think that lo this looks infected? So be sure to comment down below um, with regards to the... Um, elevated white blood cell status of this image. So up next, we have uh, Origin of Symmetry. This is a Muse album. Um, it's about football, which is why it's got all those goalposts on there. Um, yeah, there was a time period whenever Muse was a good band. Um, next, that album was called Origin of Symmetry. This one is a band called Origin. So you can see where Muse got their inspiration from for titling their album. Um, this is a very technical metal album that I like. It was cool to find. I I don't know why in the world it was at a half price bookstore, but it was, and I like it. What's it called? It's called Informis Infinitas Inhumanitas, which isn't English. So, um, you know, very very diverse uh, CD disc haul here. 
Um, and then we have this one, um, which is an album by like Peel or something. I don't really remember. Um, yeah, Peel. And it's called Enemies. It's post rock. And I'm not super into post rock, um, but this one is quite, quite good. There, there's kind of few and far between post rock releases that I really like to listen to, and this is definitely one of them. And I found it, so that was neat. Um, up next, apparently this is a signed copy of this Remedy Drive CD. This is a Christian CD that has some music on it that I really like. And none of this stuff is on like streaming services. So I'm glad to find the CD. Um, yeah, next, this is a album that no one's really ever heard of. So uh, just hear me out on this. This one's by Led Zeppelin and it's their uh, fourth studio release. So a lot of people refer to this as Led Zeppelin 4. Um, and you know, it's the fourth one and they, they usually say third time's the charm. And in this case, I agree because Led Zeppelin 3 is my favorite Led Zeppelin album. So up next is uh, Peter Frampton, Frampton Comes Alive. This is, you know, kind of, you have to have it, um, especially if you like guitar playing. Um, this is kind of a historical album. Um, of course, it has that legendary version of Do You Feel Like We Do with all the talk boxing. Um, but yeah, this, uh, it's a great album. So, had to find it. I don't know. I've seen it for much more expensive prices than what I found it for. So, I'm not sure why I got it for so cheap. But yeah, good find. This, Norma Jean, Bless the Martyr, Kiss the Child. Amazing metal album. Uh, kind of metalcore uh, and it's it's got Josh Scoggin, great vocalist of uh, originally, uh, well, I don't really know. Yeah, Josh Scoggin, he was in like The Chariot. I, I guess he was in some other bands. I don't really know that well, but I know this one. And uh, yeah, in 68 and Chariot. So this is nice music. My copy was a hockey puck. It was all scratched. So I needed to replace it and I did that. Um, up next, um, this, you know, another kind of, you know, obscure release that nobody knows, Jimi Hendrix, um, Experience, Are You Experienced? Um, yeah, it's, it's really neat. Um, the only thing, there's literally one disappointing thing about this entire album, and it's that they didn't do the question mark in the interesting font. But there is a question mark. I can see it right there, so... You know, somebody uh, should probably be fired for their incomplete graphic design work. Um, you know, so. This one, it's Smashing Pumpkin's first album called Gish, which is extremely nice. Um, yeah, this is great uh, work. And I know that me and Joe are planning on ranking the Smashing Pumpkin's discography in a video in the future because we've done that we've ranked their discography and had a conversation, but we want to make a video of that. So we probably will. And um, this was high on both of our lists. It's a really great one. Um, so Black Sabbath, Paranoid. This is obviously kind of a must have if you like metal. Um, yeah, I, I love this thing. Um, I noticed that it has a song called Iron Man. So if you like Marvel movies, be sure to check out this. Um, up next, we have this album by Sepultura, um, which is called Beneath the Remains. This is, I don't know. I haven't exactly decided what my rankings are for the Sepultura discography. I don't know, but it's probably like top three or four. I would say maybe about third or fourth for me. Um, yeah, it's great. It's metal. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. There's some thrash to it. Um, Sepultura kind of sounds like a lot of things, uh, in terms of like subgenres of metal. So they're, they're sort of a trickier one to classify for me. Um, but certain things sound like other things. That, that sounds kind of thrash to me. Uh, this one's The Police, Synchronicity. It's a cool album. It's my, uh, it, it's one of my favorite Police albums. It's not my very favorite, it's another uh, one that me and Joe have ranked their discography, and we'll probably make a video of that in the future. 
Um, but yeah, the police. Yep. I like drums. I like Stuart Copeland, you know. Um, and then last but not least, um, there's this album, and it's uh, by Nirvana, and it's called Nevermind. And, you know, I'm pretty uh, confident that this baby is, um, you know, significantly older now. And, you know, I, he, he might be like the most famous naked person of all time. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that this album is really good. And yeah, I, I just never wanted to pay the prices that I always see for this one. So when I saw it for two bucks, I just finally got it. I have like the rest of the Nirvana discs, uh, discography, but yeah, I just kept holding out on that one because it's so popular. I figured everyone would have it and I'd eventually see it. And I did. Uh, yep. So yeah, that, that was, um, this disc call. I have some more disc calls on the way and hopefully I can make more videos this week than I was able to last week. So, uh, yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. So if you like this video, um, like, button and also uh check out some of this music if you don't know it it's a recommendation for me um because i only buy stuff that i'm actually going to listen to which is kind of unlike a lot of people who collect music they'll have these record collections that are like yeah i have three thousand records in my collection but how many do you listen to and they're like 50. i just don't see the point of it i listen to the stuff i buy so okay bye <laughs>